Okay, everybody, it's been a while since we did a video. We've been smoking busy around here, and I'll show you what's been going on. So, this got dropped off today. We are going to be doing some fitment issues, and I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see unless you're in the right light. But anyways, there's a, there's a patch panel that got put in here, and it looks like you can kind of see the lines here going up here and across and down. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but anyways, uh, there's a patch panel. It looks like the bodywork got shrunk a little bit there. <clears throat> the tail light, uh, when you go to put the when you go to put the uh, tail light housing on, it bows out right about here. I can't even see what I'm filming here. Where's my hand? Here we go. Um, the sun is so bright out here, I'm not used to it. It bows out a little bit here, so when you put the um, license or the uh, tail light housing on, the actual body sticks out on both sides right here. So we're going to fix that for him. This is also an issue. They put a new pan back here, but it looks like they either didn't weld it or they didn't weld it good enough, and it's cracking. It's cracked on both sides. This side's not as bad, but you can still see it's cracking. About it for this side. Um, this they did a little bit of body work. It's kind of wonky right here. Um, God, I still can't see anything I'm filming. Um, right here, there is an issue with this body line when you, again, when you put the tail light housing on there, this bumps out a little bit. You can see it more when the tail light housing is on there. But, anyways, that's that. Uh, let's see. Nothing's going on with the the satellite right now uh, we're so jammed up with everything we are waiting for the wood kit for the back of this badass truck that we built we all love this truck we just put the uh, or Chris just put on the the lights hit up here on the top of the cab just love this truck it's so cool uh, put the mirrors on put the glass in last week put the gun rack in so yeah we're just waiting for the uh, wood kit for the back of this and then this will be done and going home this is the crew cab uh, that we've been working on this is going for paint on the interior the interior fawn and I think the firewall as long as we can get the green paint to match but it's not looking good this is a box for a truck we did uh, this was the two-tone green on green 78 Ford we did. Um, this is the box now. And the customer wanted Rick to weld in, cut out the proper um, side of this and weld in the uh, toolbox that was an option back then for some of these boxes. So that's what we did. And now Bruce is doing the body work for that bad boy. This is the new engine that is going in the uh, 71 Nova, um, which I believe is it in the corner still? No, it's not. Where did that go? Is it in the body shop bay? Yes, it is. So this uh, had a straight six in it. Uh, you've seen this in some previous videos, and uh, hello. <laughs> took out the straight six and we put in a Sean. That's right. Um, so yeah, firewall is going to get painted while the engine is out, because why not? It's going to go body color instead of the black that it was. So that's what we're doing on that. And that engine that you saw out there with the Chevy Orange is the engine that's going in there. Um, what else? Oh, what I've been working on. I'll show you. Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? It has a grill and at least one fender. Um, I tell you, these things, they're like wet noodles. But uh, anyway, we got one fender on so far. Yes, okay. No, still no progress on my Merc, but it's. How about you make a little less noise while I'm videotaping? No, I got work to do. <laughs> so he is doing some rust repair up in there. 
So this is the smoothed out 56 that we're doing for a customer. So you can see here, Rick smoothed out all of this line here, as well as up here. There used to be a lip right here. And uh, yeah, he smoothed all that out for the customer. Also, the customer had the drip rail removed, um, but they overlapped it. So uh, he asked Rick to redo it. So Rick did his fancy welding there. The 81 Ford is still being worked on, uh, getting stuff together now. This shouldn't be too long before it goes to paint. And that's about it. So, yeah, uh, my Merc is still no progress, but with the 36 almost done, it shouldn't be long. So, that's it. It's always a good time at all time. I'm gonna get out of this noise. It's always a good time at all time. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll chat soon.